Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Shala. In today's video, we would be discussing in depth about Git and GitHub. We would first be looking at the Git installation process on a Windows laptop. For this, we would have to go to this particular website that is gitforwindows.org and download the exe file. Now, once the exe file is downloaded, uh, we have to run the exe file and complete the installation process on the machine. Now, once the installation process is complete, we need to configure Git for using it on our machines. In this configuration, we would be setting up the Git username and the email address so that Git can use this to track the changes on the files. I am currently in an empty directory or an empty empty folder. Uh, I'm currently in the folder demo and as you see, I don't have any files inside this. I would I would start by configuring the user dot name for Git. So that is Git config hyphen hyphen global. That is user dot name would be cloud partashala i'll just say demo so this is the user name that has been added the next thing that we would be configuring is the email address which would be cloud part cloud dot partashala at gmail.com this is a valid email address but you could put any entry that should be totally fine once these two configurations have been set, we could start by creating our own files and start tracking them. But before we do that, now this folder that you see is like any normal folder in my laptop. There is nothing specific about this folder and this is just an empty folder which is there on the system. Now in order to have git track the changes inside this folder i need to first initialize git in this folder i could just say git init and this would initialize the git on this folder as you see it says initialize empty git repository in this particular folder now if i do an ls hyphen la you would see that a dot git folder has been created after the initialization let's go inside the git folder and try to see what files are there so we already have some basic git details i could do a cat for the configuration file and this is the information of the git configuration that you see i could come back i would and this is my main folder where i initialize git now if you see once the git has been initialized I see something called as master over here. The master is nothing but the branch where I would be creating my code in. I would open this folder in the Visual Studio Code. So this is the VS Code directory that I have. And here what I can do is start by tracking my file. So I'll say file.txt. is my first file and I would add line 1 to this file. Now even though this file is inside a folder which has been initialized by git, at this current juncture git is not tracking the files for us. If I do a git status over here you would see that it says that we are on the branch master but there are no commits and it is saying that there is an untracked file called as file1.txt now what does this file1.txt contain it contains line number one now if i have to add this file into the git tracking system i need to use the command git add 
and the syntax for this is very simple i would say git add and the name of the file that would be git add file1.txt now if i do a git status you would see that the message that was saying untracked files is now gone and it says changes to be committed and it says a new file and the name of the file so git is now able to recognize that there is a new file added in the system and that name of the file is file1.txt similarly i'll create a file2.txt and i will say line 1 in file2 this is what i have been added just increase the font on this and now if i clear the screen and if I do git status on this you would see that the new file file number one which we added into git by doing a git add is being tracked as a new file and file number two which we have not added as a git add being displayed as an untracked file. Now if I don't want file two to be included at the moment I could leave it as it is and go ahead and commit the changes done to file number one into git for this i need to say git commit hyphen am and the commit message i would say file one being added this is the commit message and once i say once i hit enter after that you would see that git is now started to track this file wherein it says file 1 being added, one file was changed and one was inserted. And how was it inserted? It was inserted in a create mode and the name of the file is file1.txt. I can do a clear screen. If I do a git status, you should see that we would only see file number 2 which is not yet added into the git tracking system. So how I could add it? I would say git add file2.txt now if i do a git status this should show us that file2 has been added but it is not yet committed i could say git commit hyphen am say file2 being added and now you should see that i don't have anything else that needs any commits basically what it says is there has been no changes since the last commit that has happened in the git repository i clear the screen now what if i added another line that is line 2 in file 2 in this and if i do a git status now git is intelligent enough to understand that there is some modification that happened on file 2 and this would tell us with this message on the screen it would say that changes are not staged for the commit we need to do a git add and a git commit so that this can be added into the system so i could do both of them at the same time using git commit hyphen am line 2 in file 2 and if you do a git status you would see that it again says nothing has nothing to commit and it says that the working tree is clean now if we have to see the list of all commits that we did on this directory you would find that by the command git log I can again type that git log and you would see that the first thing that we have added is file 2. So that is the latest one. It was added by the user with the name cloud partshala demo and the email address was cloud.partshala at gmail.com. If you have any queries on related to any technical topics, you could definitely write us at this email address and we would be happy to respond, respond back to you. This also gives us a very detailed commit message that we used during the commit. So the latest commit was line 2 in file 2. 
the commit that happened before that is uh, file 2 being added the commit that happened before that is file 1 being added so this is the commit message or the commit hash this is the first commit this is this this is the second commit and this is the third commit that we have so like this git keeps a track of all the changes to the files that are happening on the folder which is initialized with git now you could leave this folder as it is but if you would like to share this folder demo with someone with all the git history what you could do is push it to a remote repository like github or bitbucket now to share your changes with others you need to push your changes to the remote repository such as github or bitbucket to do that use the following command and you could say git push remote and then branch and that should be done but before you do that you should be making some changes to the git for this we would actually need the github access so we would need a repository to be present in our github so what we would be doing is logging into our github systems so as you see i have logged into the git repository i will create a new repo repository saying demo i'll just create the repository now what we can do is add this to the local repository what i can do is say git remote add origin with the remote url the remote url is nothing but git at github.com cloud partial slash demo dot git once i do this and if i say a git status it would say everything is fine now if i do a push if i just do a git push it would give us an error saying that it can't be done and we need to use the command git push set upstream origin to master so i'll say git push set upstream say origin to master and then hit enter what would happen now is this git code from my local repository would be pushed to the remote repository inside github looks like it is looks like it is not happening from the powershell window that i have so let me go back to this place i'll say a git status and if i say git remote add origin and then give the and then give the remote url over here so this is the git remote add command now once this is done it it it, it gives me an error saying that the remote origin already exists so what i need to do is git push set upstream origin to master this there is a typo o r i g i n origin to master and this should start pushing the code into the git repository now if i refresh the git repository that is there on the internet i should find both my files file 1 and file 2. txt with both the things let's quickly make some more changes to file 1 and then push the code to line i'll say line 2 in file 1 in file 1 and probably i could say line 3 in file 1 now if you do a git status you would see that git has tracked file 1 as being modified we need to make a commit of these changes into the git tracking system so i'll say line 2 and line 3 in file 1 then if i do a status everything should be vanished and next thing that i need to do is a git push 
on the thing so i'll do i'll do a git status again and this time i could just say git push and this should push the changes to the remote server or the remote repository now if i check this you would see that i have all the three th lines that is line one in file two there was a mistake so let's make those amendments so i'll say line one file one if i do a git status here so you would see that uh, ah, because i am inside it so i'll do a git status here and you will see that there is some modification that has happened i'll do a git commit hyphen hyphen a and file one in line one in file one i'll then do a git push and you should see the correct details on the remote repository that is this if i just refresh the thing you should be able to see all the things over here so this is the basics of git wherein we need to do and git initialize so that a normal folder in your system can be used to track changes to the files now once that is done if you add any new file to that system you need to use the command git add which would add the file to the git tracking now once the file has been added you need to commit the file so that git starts tracking the changes and also keeps a track of what those changes are once you have committed the changes you could definitely check the status and then push the code using the git push command to the remote repository now, if you want to add the remote repository to your system you could use git remote add origin and the url of the remote repository i hope this gives you a very basic understanding of what git is and how you could integrate your local git folder to the remote repository in github uh, i hope you like the video please hit the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe thank you so much for watching keep having a great day